Aloha, and welcome to the Source Yoga and Wellness Online. Today is episode three of our beginner yoga series. And for those of you who've been following along, we'll move through some familiar postures as well as introduce some new postures for you to explore and feel in your bodies. We'll use two blocks for class. And when you're ready, let's start in extended child's pose at the back of your mat. Come to the back of your mat, bring your big toes to touch. Separate your knees out wide. Sit your hips towards your heels. And then reach your hands for the front of your mat. Reach them as far as you can until your forehead effortlessly falls towards the earth. Relax your forehead down on your mat, or perhaps use a block underneath your forehead. And breathe here. Take a breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more just like that. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Now as you breathe, inhale through your nose, seal your lips. Constrict the base of your throat. Exhale back out through your nose, moving into your ujjayi pranayama. Just breathing in and out through your nose, holding a subtle constriction at the base of your throat. As you breathe in this manner, listen to your breath. Notice what your breath holds. Notice where your breath goes. Without trying to alter the course of your breath, just simply expand upon it. Move your breath further and further into your body. Take three breaths here. Begin to establish some pressure into your fingertips. Inhale, tabletop, rise up, stack your shoulders over your wrists, stack your hips over your knees, and pause here for your exhale. Hug your navel towards your spine for a strong core. Inhale, cow pose. Send your belly button towards the earth. Lift your gaze towards the sky. Open up through your chest. Take a breath in. Exhale, cat pose. Arch and round your upper back. Tuck your chin to your collarbones. Draw your gaze between your legs. Now flow that. Inhale, cow pose. Belly button down. Lift your gaze up. Exhale, cat. Arch and round your spine. Chin towards your collarbones. One more just like that. Full breath in. Lift through your heart, through your chest. Exhale, cat pose, arch and round your spine. Come to a neutral tabletop with a long torso. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Press into all of your fingers. Lift your hips as high as you can. Take a breath in. Exhale, press your heart towards your thighs. Feel free to bring a gentle bend into your knees. It's relatively early in the warming of your body. So understand what this pose means in this moment. You're welcome to move organically by gently sending one heel to the earth, bending your opposite knee, and then switching it out. Take a few breaths here, just coming into your body. And notice once again where your breath goes. Notice the quality. And just expand upon that breath. One more inhale and the full exhale. Inhale, gaze forward between your palms. Exhale, ragdoll, step your feet behind your wrists and hips with distance apart. Bend into your knees, drape your torso over your thighs. Gently interlace your hands with opposite elbows and bend into your knees as much as you need to keep a long spine here. Relaxing all the muscles around your upper back, your neck region. You're welcome to stay right here. Or maybe add some movements in your torso, swaying from side to side. Perhaps nodding your torso forward and back. Maybe nodding your head yes and no. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Release your hands to the earth. 
Toe heel your feet to touch. Tuck your chin to your collarbone. And as slowly as you can, inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Feel one vertebra stack on top of the next until your shoulders stack over your hips, your head over your shoulders. Inhale, shrug your shoulders towards the sky. Exhale, samasthiti, pull them together and down your back. Bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Take a moment in this posture to ground down into your practice. As you ground down into your practice, notice where your energy is. Notice where your breath is. This breath, this word pranayama, means the expansion of our vital life energy. The expansion, ayama, of prana. Take a full breath in. And on your exhale, expand your breath to all parts of your body. One more just like that. Inhale through your nose, fill up. Open mouth, exhale. Gently blink your eyes open. Seal your lips, inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Feel your hands drop high over your head and continue to notice your feet. Notice how as you press down into your feet, as you press firmly into your mat, you grow tall in your spine up towards the sky. Notice how these lines of energies are opposing. Stretch your breath into both lines, soften your shoulders, soften your gaze. Take a breath in. Exhale, side body bend to the right. Release your right hand down by your side. Lift your left armpit up towards the sky. Stretch out through your entire left side body. Keep your hips parallel to the front of the room. Open up your heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift your hands high above your head. Exhale, side body bend to the left. Drop your left arm down. Reach through your right armpit. Keep that long right side body, chest parallel to the front of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise up through center. Exhale, back bend. Lift your heart up and over your mid back. Cactus out your arms to bend into your elbow. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise through center. Exhale, forward fold. With that length in your spine, hinge all the way forward. Release your hands to the earth. Bend into your knees as much as you need to maintain that length in your spine. Relax your neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your palms onto your shins or thighs. Draw your shoulders down your back. Create one line of energy from your hips through the crown of your head. Take a full inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. Bend into your front left knee and then drop your back right knee to the earth. Inhale, crescent moon. Lift your hands high above your head. Pause here and breathe. Hold your left front knee over your left ankle at 90 degrees. Hold your right hip in line with your left hip, parallel to the front of your mat. Soften your shoulders. Notice where your breath goes. And then expand upon that breath. Let it fill more and more parts of your body. Inhale, reach up to the crown of your head, long spine. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your hands to the earth. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up. Press into your hands. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Left leg reaches high behind you. Exhale, downward facing dog and breathe here. Notice as you come to this downward facing dog for the second time, where your breath goes. Maybe it's somewhere different. Just notice. There's no need to alter its course. From here, keeping your feet as they are, inhale high plank, shift your shoulders on top of your wrists and hold here, press into all of your finger pads, round the space behind your heart, inhale shift a little bit further forward onto your tiptoes, exhale lower all the way down onto your stomachs as slow as you like to take it, once you're on your belly, flip to the tops of your feet, before you move here press into your toenails, as you press into your toenails notice how your legs engage. From that engagement, inhale, baby cobra. Lift your heart up, Bhujangasana. Pause here. Place a little to no weight in your hands. Draw your gaze down, and then in front of your mat, take a breath in. Exhale, lower down, chin towards your. We're gonna take that two more times, flowing with your breath. Inhale, baby cobra. Lift your heart up. Exhale, lower down. 
One more, follow your breath. Inhale, rise up, lift your chest. Exhale, all the way down. Stay on your knees, but tuck your toes behind you. Inhale, tabletop. We've been here before, pressing to all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Take a full breath in here. And the full breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg high behind you. Reach it up. Exhale, low lunge. Step it forward. As you step forward, engage your low core. Drop to your back, left knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Lift your hands high above your head. Exhale, breathe here. Notice what touches the earth. The entirety of your right foot, all your toes, your heel, your back left knee, your back foot. And just press down into those regions to lift your spine a little bit taller into the sky. Stretching to all parts of your body with your breath. Take a full inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your hands to frame your front right foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up. Now to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your left foot up, draw your shoulders down. Exhale, forward fold. Let's begin to flow with your breath. Inhale, mountain pose. Root down, rise all the way up. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, back bend. Press your hips forward, lift your heart up. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, hinge through center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. This time, step your left foot towards the back of your mat. Drop down onto your back left knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Lift your hands up. Exhale, add a back bend. Press your hips forward. Lift your heart. Inhale, crescent moon. Hands high above your head. Exhale, half slip. Straighten out your front right leg. As you do so, you're welcome to place your hands on your blocks. Your blocks are there to lift the earth closer to your hands. Straighten out through that right leg. Hold your left hip over your left knee. Flex your right toes towards your chest. And gently release your torso, release your chest over your right thigh. Breathe here. Take three breaths. And as you breathe, Simply observe where your energy is, where your breath wants to go. And without moving to change those things, just simply be one with that realization. Be one with this moment. Take a breath in and the breath out. Press into your left hand on your block or your mat. Inhale, open arm twist. Lift your right fingertips high. Stack your right shoulder on top of your left. On your exhale, twist a little bit deeper using your core. Inhale, reach up with your right hand. Exhale, low lunge. Crawl your hands forward. You're welcome to remove your blocks from your mat space. Press into your hands. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Right leg high behind you. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, flowing through. Inhale, high plank, shift forward, stack your shoulders over your ribs. Exhale, lower all the way down to your stomach. Inhale, cobra pose, flip the tops of your feet, lift your heart. Exhale, chin down to the earth, tuck your toes behind you to all fours. Inhale, tabletop, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog, press back. Inhale, lift your left leg high, float your heel up. Exhale, low lunge, use the strength of your low core, step through, drop to your back right knee. Inhale, crescent moon, hands high. Exhale, add a back bend, lift your heart up and over your mid back. Inhale, lift your hands high above your shoulders. Exhale, half split, straighten out your front left leg. Hands to the earth or your block. Flex your toes towards your chest. And if you'd like to get deeper into your left hamstring, press your left heel into the earth without changing the orientation of your heel in relation to your torso. Energetically drag your heel back towards your stomach. Notice how that lengthens your hamstring. Notice how it may direct your breath to pull more energy towards that hamstring. 
Continue to let your breath go where it may. Simply expand upon that breath. Moving your breath through your left hamstring, to your left toes, through your left glute, your mid back, upper back, all the way through the crown of your head. Fill yourself with that prana, that vital energy. Press into your right hand on the earth or a block. Inhale, open arm twist, lift your left fingertips high. Expand your chest towards the left side of your mat. On your exhale, use your core twist a little bit more. Inhale, open up, left fingertips high. Exhale, low lunge. Walk your hands forward, remove your blocks from your mat space to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, step four. Exhale, forward fold, hinge through center, toes to touch. Inhale, chair pose. Sit your hips back, lift your hands up above your head. Spread your toes into your mat space as wide as they can go. Energetically shift your weight towards your heel. And your option here is to sit your hips a little bit lower, maintaining that length in your spine. Take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold, hinge through center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Lift your hands high above your head. Pause here, breathe here. Notice your back right heel. Lift it as high as you can over your back ball mount and strengthen all the muscles on your back right leg. Pull your quadricep away from your knee. Tighten your hamstring, your calf. Send your right hip forward, your left hip back. Take a full breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Open up, tee out your arms to parallel with the earth. Continue to hold your left knee over your left ankle. Press down into the knife edge of your back right foot. Hug your biceps to your bones. Find strength in your arms. Take a breath in. And the full breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lift your left fingertips high over your head. Stretch out through your left side body. Open your chest up to face the long side of your mat. Take a breath in, reach your left fingertips high. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your hands down. Press into your hands, inhale, three-legged down dog, left leg high behind you. Exhale, downward facing dog, flowing through, inhale, high plank, shift forward. Exhale, lower down to your stomach, flip to the tops of your feet. Inhale, baby cobra, lift your heart. Exhale, chin down towards your mat, tuck your toes. Inhale, tabletop, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in here. And a full breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg high behind you. Exhale, low lunge, use your core, step your foot through. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up, Anjanasana. Tighten all those muscles around your back left knee. Hold your right knee over your right ankle. Soften your shoulder. Find your breath. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Parallel your arms to the earth. Hold your navel towards your spine to find a strong core. Move through your breath. Hold your gaze over your front middle finger. And from here, maintaining your base exactly as it is. Inhale, reverse for your right fingertips over your head. Find a long right side body. Open your chest up to face the left side of your mat. Take a breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Carve with your hands down to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your left foot forward. Exhale, forward fold. Let's flow through our sun be one time following our breath. Inhale, chair pose. Sit your hips back, hands up. Exhale, forward fold all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, long torso. Exhale, step your left foot back, this time low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, lift your hands high. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your hands down, press into your hands, inhale, three-legged down dog, right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to your stomach. Flip the tops of your feet, inhale, cobra pose, lift your heart. 
Exhale, chin to the earth. Tuck your toes, option for a high plank. Inhale, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog, press back. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Use your core to lift your hands high. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your hands to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, shift forward. Exhale, forward fold. As you fold forward, lengthen your spine. Relax your arms to the earth or your blocks. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Now moving directly into some core work. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, boat pose. Bring your hands to the earth. Sit your hips down until they meet your mat. Bring your hands behind your knees. Your option here is to keep your toes on the earth, on your mat, or gently float your heels so that your shins become in line with your knees. You can keep your hands behind your knees or for a deeper layer for more core activation. Release your hands and float your arms, but keep your back nice and long. Another variation is to bring your hands behind your body to help lift your heart, finding that length in your spine. Wherever you are, just hold it here for three breaths. One more big breath in. Exhale, cross your ankles, come to a seat, towel off, grab some water, take a moment off of your legs, and we'll meet in an easy seated pose, crossing your ankles. Find length in your spine, close your eyes. Now as we continue to focus on your breath in this practice, notice if your breath has picked up any tension. This ujjayi pranayama has a natural texture to it. This comes from the restriction we hold at the base of our throat. However, what this breath does not hold is any tension. If your breath does have tension, take a breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let that tension go. One more just like that, inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Open your eyes, bring the soles of your feet to touch. If your hips have any discomfort in this posture, Baddha Konasana, you're welcome to slide one block underneath each thigh to take that pressure off of your knees, to let your knees fall onto your block. Inhale, lift your heart, and maybe you stay here. Or perhaps on your exhale, fold forward, heart over your feet, relaxing your neck as you come down. Fall back into your ujjayi pranayama. This warm breath in and out through your nose. Take one more big breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, rise up to a long torso. Exhale, cross your ankles, come to a tabletop. Move your blocks off to the side of your mat. Plant your hands on the earth. From your tabletop, inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Take a full inhale. And a deep exhale. Inhale, lift your right heel high behind you. Exhale, low lunge, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one, Virabhadrasana A. Spin your back heel to the earth at 45 degrees. Fully connect your back heel. To do so, you're welcome to step your back foot up to shorten your stance. Find the knife edge of your back foot, press into it, and hold your front right knee over your ankle. As you do so, notice your hips. If you find them opening up to the left, widen your stance to parallel your hips towards the top of your mat. Soften your shoulders. Breathe here, inhale. Full exhale. Two more just like that.
Inhale, reach up, lift the crown of your head. Exhale, high plank. Plant your hands and immediately step your right foot towards the back of your mat. From your high plank, inhale, shift forward to your tiptoes. Exhale, low plank. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Hold them in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Flip to the tops of your feet. Engage your legs just as you're in that cobra pose. Engage all of your muscles. Lift your heart up. Take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Seal your lips, inhale, lift your left leg high, float your heel. Exhale, low lunge, step it forward with intention, inhale, warrior one. Take a moment to step your back foot up, spin it down to the earth. Our warrior one stance tends to be a bit shorter than our warrior two stance. Right hip forward, left hip back. Soften your shoulders, engage your core, navel towards your spine. Breathe here, three breaths. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, high plank. Plant your hands, step your left foot back to meet your right foot. Inhale, shift forward to your tiptoes. Exhale, low plank, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, flip to the tops of your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog, tuck your toes, send your hips up and back. Now we'll flow through all of that one time. Follow your breath and move through your high to low plank at your own pace. Your option there is to take a cobra pose as we've been doing before. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, high to low plank in one fluid motion. Find your chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, heart towards your thighs. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, warrior one, lift your hand. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, urdhva mukha svanasana. Exhale, downward facing dog, adho mukha svanasana. Take a breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg high behind you. Exhale, half pigeon on the right. Draw your right knee towards your right wrist. Draw your right ankle towards your left wrist and parallel your shin as much as is comfortable to the top of your mat. Drop down onto your back left knee. And if you notice this posture is intense on your hips, you're welcome to slide one block underneath your right hip to support your hip a little bit better. Perhaps you stay here with your hands into the earth, lift your heart, close your eyes. Or to go deeper into the stretch, fold your torso over your right shin. Surrender your body. Follow your breath. We'll be here for about eight full cycles of pranayama, full cycles of breath. So just allow yourself the space and time to let go, to fully release. breath in and the breath out inhale rise up to your palms exhale tuck your back toes engage your back leg inhale three-legged down dog lift your right leg high shake it out get some blood back into your toes exhale downward facing dog inhale lift your left leg high exhale half pigeon on the left echo pada raja kapotasana draw your left knee the outside of your left wrist. Parallel your shin as much as is comfortable. Option, use that block underneath your left hip for support. Either say lifted with your heart high or surrender your heart towards the earth. 
This idea of surrender that we find in this pose comes when we bring enough strength into this pose to allow ourselves to let go. Oftentimes it's so much easier to hold on to everything that holds us back from being whole. We hold on because it's everything we seem to know. Letting go is a lot more uncertain. However, in this pose, in your practice here today, take a breath in. Exhale, let it go. Continue to breathe just like that. Slowly, inhale, rise up to your palms. Exhale, tuck your back toes, engage your back leg. Inhale, three-legged down dog, left leg high, maybe shake it out. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time in this posture. Reflect upon how this posture felt when you first came into it. Notice how it may feel different now. And then let both of those ideas go. Move away from that memory. Just move into this feeling, how it feels right now. Take a breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, gaze forward to the top of your mat. Exhale, step to the top, come down to a comfortable seat. Send your legs long in front of you. Remove some flesh from your sitting bones. Find a long spine. Inhale, lift your hands high above your head. Exhale, Paschimottanasana. Hinge forward. As you hinge forward, maintain that length. Feel free to bend into your knees as much as you need. Capture your feet with your hands or perhaps your ankles, your shins. And once you're there, relax your neck. Take five full cycles of breath. Allowing your body to come closer to itself. Drawing that physical connection. And as you draw upon that physical connection, notice what other aspects of your life can use that same connection, that same unity. This word yoga comes from the root word yuj. This word huge means union. Find that union, take a breath in. And a breath out. Inhale, rise up to a long torso. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your back. And as you find your back on the earth, bend into your knees. Bring the soles of your feet towards your glutes just inside the reach of your finger. Exhale all your air. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift your hips up towards the sky. Use the tops of your legs rather than your glutes to lift your hips as high as you can. Move some weight into your shoulders. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower your hips all the way down towards the earth. Draw your knees to the center of your body. Take a breath in. Exhale, rock from side to side, massaging your low back. As we continue to move through our surrendering series, continue to let go of anything that no longer deserves space in your life. Release your left leg down to the earth. Inhale your right knee to your right chest. Exhale, supine twist. Drape your right shin over your left leg. Stacking your right hip on top of your left. Glue your right shoulder to the earth and draw your gaze over your right fingertips. 
Take three to five full breaths here. Inhale, draw your knees to your chest. Exhale, send your right leg down the center of your mat. Hold your left knee in towards your left side body. Take a breath in. Exhale, supine twist, left leg over your right. Stack your hips, glue your shoulders to the earth. Drop your gaze over your left fingertips. In this moment, as you breathe and you twist, contracting upon your diaphragm, your breath may naturally want to shorten. However, in this moment, bring mindfulness to that breath. Keep it large and expansive. Inhale, draw your knees to the center of your body. Reach for the inside edges of your feet. Exhale, happy baby, Ananda Balasana. This pose translates to blissful baby. As you find this blissful baby pose, you're welcome to rock from side to side on your low back. You're welcome to flutter your lips on your exhale, sounding a little bit like inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, have some fun in this pose. Take three breaths. You're welcome to use that happy baby breath. You're welcome to rock around. Just find a playful quality in your practice. Oftentimes throughout our day, we take ourselves a little too seriously. Let go of that here. And when you're ready to surrender, draw your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Take a full breath in, forehead to your knees, tight squeeze. Exhale, Shavasana, let it all go. Final resting posture. Release your legs. Release your arms. Release that control of your breath. You work so hard to hold. In this posture, there's not a need to hold on to anything. There's just a need to be one with everything. I'll let you know when it's time to move on with your day. But for now, just be. Yogis, you're more than welcome to remain here. If you have the time to do so, just stay in the Shavasana posture. However, if your body is calling you back, bring awareness to your fingers and toes. Move that awareness into your breath. And with your breath, inhale, long body stretch. Lift your hands above your head. Exhale, fetal pose. Roll over to one side of your body. 
Using a bicep as a pillow, your other arm across your body as a blanket. When we move from this practice, we bring with us this unison that we find. We pull this unison into all parts of our day, all parts of our being. So when you're ready to journey on maintaining this yoga, gently rise up to a seat. Find a comfortable seated position. Sit up tall in your spine. Bring your palms to touch and your thumb knuckles to your third eye center between your eyebrows your seat of intuition and wisdom. In light of who you are, in light of who we are, we bow forth acknowledging one another. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us, yogis. It has really been our pleasure to guide you through this beginning yoga series, and we look forward to practicing with you real soon. Have a wonderful day. Aloha.